Hi, this is Ron Shire, and I'm at the Humane Society of Reading here. And uh, Nancy Segetti, uh, one of our local artists around here, is having a show in here for uh, what they call uh, Furry Friday. And um, it's actually a benefit to help the uh, Humane Society to find people to um, help them uh, find homes uh, for our little furry friends that uh, find themselves uh, lost in the melee of human existence here. So let's take a look around at some of Nancy's artworks and then we'll take a look at um, some of our, uh, our furry friends as well too. Now I profiled Nancy before at the Mosaic Studio uh, when she uh, was having an exhibit of her work there. And some of the things you might have seen before, but um, let's kind of take a look around at this stuff. It's very nice, very sensitive artwork here. It is kind of a warm day. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Ron. This is Nancy Segetti. Uh, and, and Nancy is the artist, and we've been taking a look at her at her stuff around here. Um, like, so this is this is a, like a benefit, isn't it? Uh, well, it is a proceeds. I'm donating 40 percent of all the sales to the Humane Society. Mm -hmm. Oh well, that's real. That's that's very generous, actually, and it's kind of like a, what is that like? Um, about get get a dog and buy a painting, you know. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> or an well, artwork. I'm my work um, is animal oriented um, yeah. anyway. And uh, I did um, get one of my cats here a while ago, and I will shortly be getting another cat from the Humane Society. I, uh, you know, it's very good cat. Mm -hmm. Well, that's right. It has to do with animals. I'm for it. <laughs> well, that's where my stinky little cat comes from, too. <laughs> yeah, you know, well, I have to change the litter a little bit more often. <laughs> but, um,. Yeah, they, they they have some really pretty animals here, and I want to I I'm going to go and take a couple of pictures of some too. Cool, good. Yeah. Good. Um, so uh. Nice crowd here. Nice people. Yeah, we, 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 we have a lot of people in here. And hi, this is Dr. Lee Pickett. Uh, who's the, uh, the the founder, or what is it? What is I'm the president of the board of directors. The, the president of the board of directors for the Humane Society here, and um, you just I just wanted to ask you a couple of questions uh, about the the mission of the Humane Society and what you're uh, and what you hope to do, and you're and you're having art exhibits here too, which is a really which really kind of blends the community, I think, yeah. and brings people to understanding that you know that you you know come here for for art and you know buy some art pick up a puppy you know what I mean it's a great thing that's exactly right we're really we're really a family service organization and we focus on the four-legged members of the family mm -hmm. we have lots of programs to help the animals and the people of Berks County and the region everything from pet net which provides temporary care for animals that are in families with some kind of personal catastrophe whether it's domestic violence or a house fire or a flood or something or where somebody just had surgery and can't walk the dog for a few weeks to animals on wheels mm -hmm. to humane education to cruelty investigation and of course adoption as you mentioned of course and one of the things that we love to do is open up our home to the rest of the community and this is a great way to do it we always had a an art auction once a year to raise money and the artists are so generous they said what more can we do and we said gee we don't have much on our walls so every month we have a new artist come in here and put up his or her artwork and their 
friends come in so they get to meet the animal, and then the animal people come in so they get to see new art that they wouldn't otherwise see. Mm -hmm. And we just have a great time with an open house every month. Oh, this is great, and it's very, uh, it, and it's a lot of fun, and it's educational. Uh, and, and Nancy Segetti, uh, a lot of her work is is oriented around animals anyway, because she uses a lot of animals in her uh, in her artwork. She's been a good friend of the shelter for a number of years. Mm -hmm. We're just so grateful that she came this uh, this month and put up her artwork around here. I hope you got a picture got pictures of all of. I've it. been taking some pictures. Good, yes, I have. Good. Yeah, I was wondering if I could take a couple pictures of some of your uh, of some of your uh, your animal guests here. Sure, come on in. Let's go into the cat adoption center first. Okay, great. <laughs> Okay, so this is the older part of the kennel. This is the older part that gets renovated next. And unfortunately, our, our adoption dogs are back here, so it's not very pretty. Yeah. So well, these are some of the dogs for adoption. Well, this is one of the reasons why you're doing all these renovations. That's exactly right. Hi, buddy. So in the new adoption facility, there'll be glass walls here instead of these chain link fences. Yeah, that would be a lot more friendly. Exactly. Right now, the, um, the chain link doors kind of are a barrier to getting to know the dog and getting to see them, whereas the glass will let you look mm -hmm. right through. I you sit that way and look over your shoulder. Yeah. Hi, Tina. Look at that tail wagon. And it will look very much like the cat adoption center that you just saw. There will be murals along the back wall. There will be glass doors on all of these runs. So you've got a lot of work going on here right now. Yes, we sure yeah. do. And then there'll be puppy mm -hmm. panels right over here, with short walls. Mm -hmm. And then this room will be for our critters, our bunnies and our ferrets and mm -hmm. reptiles and, and guinea pigs and gerbils and hamsters. So there'll be a separate room that will then have a hole with a window going out into the main lobby and then windows right here. So it's a very exciting time here at the Humane Society of Berks County. We're also doing renovations of the, um, the veterinary facility and adding more examples. And this is what it's going to look like then. Okay. Oh, very nice. Well, yes, and I, I do. I want to thank you very, very much for allowing me to take a look in your, in, in your facilities here and enjoy this, this wonderful occurrence that you're... It's been my pleasure. Thank you so much for coming. And I hope you come back every month because we do Furry Friday every single month. So it's the second Friday of every month, and I hope you'll come back. I will. Thank you. Thank you.